Great job, Jake. We're super proud of you. Shut the fuck up. I don't need that shit. Chris, were you an athlete in school? Yes. Were you in better shape than you are now? Absolutely. Okay, stand up. Take your shirt off. I want you to do it in front of your friends. You don't want to see me mad. I'll be coming with that weight back. You don't want to taste that. Don't want to see me on attack. Trust me, you don't want to taste okay. that. Okay, all right. So every like single one of you right now, when someone believes in you, and they prove that they believe in you by investing in you, it's disrespectful to not give them your best. But I don't know how many of you have had someone believe in you so much they took money out of their own pocket to make sure that you become a better person. Pretty fucking cool, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so number one, I want everybody to clear their fucking mind right now, clear their ego, clear any distractions you have going on in your head, clear what the fuck you're thinking about out because it doesn't matter. This next hour, Everything that I will tell you will be the blueprint for you to become and create the life that you want and the life that Jake wants you to create also as well. And I'm gonna tell you, if you listen to me, you just became a new motherfucker, and in one hour, you're literally gonna go start your new life. Okay, so everybody write this down. There's the day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. This is how this works. And if you don't believe me, you need to fucking listen. Because I truly would tell you, every single one of you, what you're thinking you're capable of accomplishing is about one fucking percent of what you really can accomplish. You have no fucking clue what you're capable of. You have no idea how dangerous you are. You have no idea what's going to happen when you wake the fuck up. And a lot of you right now, I'm going to tell you this, you're doing better than you've done before or doing better than most. And you're doing better than a lot of people thought that you would do. Would you agree? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, you have fallen prey to fucking mediocrity. You have done exactly what they want you to do, but now you've met me. And you see, I'm a psycho fucking competitor. So you need to write that down. What is a psycho competitor? A psycho competitor is this. It, as an adult, my sport is business. It's very simple. I will rip your throat out. I will fucking cut your throat. I will fucking step on you. I will choke you out. I will do anything if you get in my space and get in my way. And I don't mean and harm you. I mean, I will be so good at business. I will be so great at selling, closing, communicating, speaking, believing. I will be 20 steps ahead of you at all times. And I will take your fucking soul without ever telling you that I'm going to take your soul. I will torture you until your last breath. And I will never say a word to you. I'm an underdog. Who's an underdog? Raise your hand. Okay. Underdogs kill and destroy Goliaths for a living. You know why? Because they have something called the chip on their fucking shoulder. And I wanna tell every single one of you, I'm gonna give you a list of some things. When I say that, that you're, today's the day your life changes forever. I wanna give you some things that kill that chip, that destroy that chip, that ruin you, that make you conform to society. So you see that world out there that's telling you, oh, good job, Jake, you're doing better than anyone else. You're doing better than we thought you'd do. Great job, Jake, we're super proud of you. Shut the fuck up. I don't need that shit. I don't need to hear it. I'm not interested in it. Why? Because you're at 1%, all of you, to your capability. And I'm gonna tell you how I know that here in a second. I'm gonna tell you the day my life changed forever. But I want you to know this, super, super important. Everybody write this down, alcohol. Drugs, negative people, toxic relationships, complaining, getting fat, sleeping too much, sleeping too little. These are things that will kill you. I will tell you this, when I was 18 years old, so I don't know what your backstory is, but I want to give it to you real quick because I think a lot of people think that people that are doing big shit. By the way, guys, my company made nine figures last year, net income, not fucking gross, and then I take out all the net real money, and I will be a billionaire within three years, and I want to tell you something. My mom left when I was two years old, okay, so she's a fucking crackhead, right? So I don't have her to look up to, right? I'm raised by kids. I got five brothers and sisters. My dad's always gone, so it's kids raising kids. That isn't bad. It was a fucking great life as a kid. We ran the streets, but dude, I was a loser. I stuttered, I wore the same two pair of clothes every day. I remember whenever it was time to go, my friends are like, let's go to the, the amusement park, or let's go in here, or let's go ride roller coasters with these chicks, or let's go to the lake. Guys, I didn't have no money, so that means I stole. So that means that, dude, I was literally the guy that was always trying to figure out how to cheat somebody to get into something, because I didn't have no money. 
Okay, so I had to do it all wrong. I made bad grades in school because no one ever told me that to get a good grade was good. Nobody ever explained why learning was good for me. By the way, write this down. Fall in love with learning and you will fucking annihilate everyone. I'm, I'm a psycho competitor because I learn everything. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I study everybody. I study human beings for a living. I study winners. I study losers. You know what losers tell me? Exactly what fucking losers do. You know what winners tell me? Exactly what winners do. And I am obsessed with finding the greatest winners that's ever lived. And by the way, if your parents gave you money, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about your story. I don't want to hear how you got to where you're at. I know where how you got to where you're at. I want to know how the motherfucker that had nothing, that everybody said you're not going to make it, you're the least likely to make it, you're a piece of shit, you're a loser. How did that motherfucker change and then go to here? How did he go to nine figures? How did he go to the top salesman in the company? How does he keep growing every day? How the f did that happen? That's the story I want to know. So I'm going to tell you how. It's just a decision. Number one, are you f***ing worth it? Do you want people walking up to you and go, dude, how'd you do it? I'm 44, I take my shirt off. People walk up and they go, bro, how do you got a body like that? I mean, I got a six pack. I'll get an eight pack in the summer, but I'm older. And I say, mother f you already know, bitch. You eat clean, you go to the gym, it's very simple. You, you don't even need to ask me, man. You're wasting my time. So you guys in the room that wanna be badasses, by the way, I wanna tell you something. I'm an alpha badass, but also I am a leader. This is where you guys decide to become the new you or stay the same. An alpha leader is one that continues to break the bar while cheering his team on and training everyone how to do it it's the highest form of human excellence that exists and all of you can become it when I was 18 years old my manager he said Andy I'm dead broke I never had more than five dollars in my hand at one time I want everybody I want everybody to go back to a point in their time in their life where they were embarrassed where somebody said something to you that was really hurtful Somebody that you cared about. And I want you to remember what they said right now. And I want to tell you where all this played into, in, into effect. So, so, so my teacher goes, dude, you're never going to make it. My teacher called me a piece of shit. He goes, dude, you're a piece of shit. And I was. I was a piece of shit. I'd never given anybody evidence that I wasn't a piece of shit. Why the fuck would I be mad at him? I was a piece of shit. Okay? I remember my mom when I was younger. I, got, I had one call with her in seventh grade. And she goes, our whole families are losers okay that's my identity I'm not a loser Fuck that bitch okay she has no clue what I'm capable of I didn't even have a clue what I was capable of and most of you don't know either right now and on this call you're gonna understand it and this call will be the call that changed your life and you'll think about this call on your deathbed not only are you guys going to build the greatest company that ever existed, but you're going to start carrying yourself differently. You're going to start talking differently. You're going to start acting differently. You're going to go through a season of saying no to bullshit distractions and shit that makes you unfocused. If it isn't good for you and it doesn't make you the most elite and the greatest, the alpha leader, and it doesn't take you to your new life, the answer is fuck off. Grab your balls and lean into your best life you've never got and you're gonna have to tell people F you and you guys need to get close and all do this together and if there's someone in the room that can't do this bye it was nice working with you we love you we hope you do the best but we can no longer have you in here because you're f toxic for us you're kryptonite to, su to su success so when I was 18 years old I had a manager and he goes Andy I'm going to teach you hundreds of micro skills and if you can do these things people will walk up to you and go dude how'd you do it and they can do the same thing that I'm gonna teach you but they won't 
And when you become successful, I'm dead broke. I have, I have no money in my hand. I don't understand this. He goes, people are going to ask you, how did you do it? Or they won't even ask you because they'll think that it's easy for you. And they had no idea how much work you've put in and how much discipline daily you have to maintain to, to carry this life. I listened to my manager in the first week. Okay, I made $2,000. By the way, I never had more than $5 in my hand. I practiced shaking hands every morning for one hour. I stuttered, so I didn't even speak very good. It was embarrassing speaking. I couldn't even get words out of my mouth. And he explained to me how to slow my mind down. He goes, slow down your mind, Andy. He goes, you're going to learn word tracks. Word tracks are things that you say that make your words flow like water because you know what you're going to say so you don't have to think about what to say. And he goes, you're going to write down these word tracks over and over and over again. I'm going to give them to you. If somebody says, I need to get back to you. You'll say, hey, I totally understand. Anything that should be done today shouldn't be put off for tomorrow. Wouldn't you agree? They're like, yeah, it's cool. So let's wrap this up now. You already made the decision you want to do it. Time's valuable to you. Let's go ahead and pass go. It's like he would give me these little word tracks. That was hypothetical example of a word track. I would write it down. I would write it down 10 times. I didn't think I was good at learning because everybody told me I really sucked at learning. So I would go around and tell people I'm bad at taking tests. I'm bad at learning. No, I underestimated the amount of effort and work it was going to take to be good at taking tests. Every one of you right now, everything you say that you're not good at, first of all, you are good at it. You just don't try. Think about this. I can't or I won't. I can't as I won't is exactly your problem. You won't write it down 10 times. You won't write it down 20 times. So what I started to learn is how to learn. My brain would jump ahead as I was writing word tracks down and my brain would say, bro, you know this now. I would be my 20th time writing it down and I started learning it. So I want to explain what I did. I went on the self-development journey. Every dollar that I would make, I started spending on myself. Write this down. The ROI on self-development on you is a thousand percent. The fucking craziest ROI. Go buy real estate, 7%. Go buy real estate, 10%. On yourself, 1,000%. You spend a dollar, you'll make a thousand. That's how this works. So I went on this journey of studying people and I want to tell you what happened to me real quick. I'm explain how this works. 18 years old, made 120 grand. I'm a loser. They told me in the industry that making 120 grand selling cars was all the money that you could make. And I was in the automotive industry because that was my vehicle. I didn't know whether, I didn't know how to get another job. My, my, my best friend's older brother sold cars like, dude, I'll fucking hire you. I got lucky. So I got in sales. Learn, sales and leadership will make you rich. Two things. So at 19, there was this new manager and he told me that he could make $220,000 a year selling cars. It's kind of like the wolf on Wall Street. Like, show me your paycheck stub and I'll quit right now. I'll go to work for you. I like, I like had to see it. I was so weak mentally. My, my mental toughness was such a little bit that I needed to see shit to believe it. I saw that check for 220, he pulled it out of his glove box. I made 220 at 19. I started to learn exactly what was happening in my life. By the way, I want to tell you guys something. Everybody write this down. Awareness. Awareness. Self-awareness. Awareness is the number one thing that you should be doing. And it's called AKA, also known as self-mastery. Self-mastery is the key. Every one of you need to learn to know you. Can I ask you a question? When you go out and drink, you have fun, but the next morning you wake up and you don't feel on your A game. Now, can I ask you a question? Can you push through, go out and dance, go out and have fun, go out and pick up on chicks, go out and do shit without fucking drinking because you're a fucking savage and you're not a little pussy so you don't need to drink? Can you do that? Fuck yeah, you can. And the next morning, do you wake up feeling like a fucking badass because you used your skill, you weren't shy, you broke through a fucking stronghold issue. I'm, oh man, I'm a little, you know, I, I do better. I dance better when I'm drinking. I promise you don't dance better when you're drinking. You're fucking stupid. Oh, I know, but I pick up chicks better. No, you don't, dude. You, you slur and sound like an idiot. Okay. Then the next morning you wake up and you're not on your A game. So the question is, is drinking good to take you to new levels? No, it actually numbs you of fucking getting great. It actually makes you weaker. But because society wants you to be weak, everybody's doing it, and those motherfuckers don't have the life you're after. I have the fucking life. I'll tell you, I have the life. 
I'm liquid. I can close anyone. I can do whatever I want. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I'm the most dangerous person in the room. I don't fucking care. I remember when I was 20 years old, I was horrible at dancing and I was with this girl and I was out dancing and I'm horrible at dancing. She's really good and I suck, right? Cause I'm a white dude, I'm a fucking green girl. I'm not good at dancing. She's a bad ass Mexican. She's dancing and shit. I'm out and there was these guys laughing at me. And I remember looking at them and I was like, dude, I fucking own you little bitch. I own you motherfucker. If I, look, I wear short shorts all the time. My clothes are too tight. People fucking laugh at me. I own you motherfucker. If you took time out of your day to break your neck to look at me, I fucking own you. This is my fucking life. And you guys need to understand that all of you right now, you're getting peer pressured and influenced by the fucking weak. You fall and pray and you don't even know it. That's why your bank account isn't growing the way it should. That's why you're not liquid. That's why your house isn't paid off cash. That's why your numbers, as good as you think they are, they're at 1% of where they could be. The relationships that you can make could be 20 times stronger, but you're not ready. At 20 years old, I made 500 grand. It was my first year. I made a half a million at 20. I remember thinking, I can fucking do anything. This universe, I learned at 20 years old, this universe, it will give you whatever you want. But you must become the point zero, 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 one percent. I'm going to give you three numbers. I want you to write them down. 99 percenters, one percenters, and then point zero, 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 one percenters. Now I want to explain this to you. I'm going to tell you guys right now about a life that all of you qualify for, that all of you, and by the way, I'm not judging you. If you go do drugs right now, cool, I did them. I did as many as I could do. All it did is ruin my life. All it did is make me stupid. All it did was literally waste time in my life. I went out and drank. I'll still have a drink once a year. Every time I do, I'm like, why did I do that again? I'm like, what the fuck, man? I want you to understand what happens when you own your own life, you live a life that counts and you start calling your own shots. And by the way, listen to me, you're going, every one of you right now, you're going to look like a fool on the journey to the life that you're after. People will make fun of you. They will laugh at you. They will tell you you're a fool. They'll tell you you're not even being a good friend. You're not a good friend anymore, man. I thought you were a boy you bro I was with you when I was younger and I was immature and I was a fucking loser and I'm not calling you a loser but I'm after a new life and if you're not <clears throat> you stay in your old one and I'll go to my new one dude you're a traitor Fuck you you're a traitor listen guys every single one of you right now what do you do to traitors you kill them doubt is a traitor and anytime you believe that you can't go somewhere and you doubt yourself you're the traitor you need to put in the work. You need to understand this. Listen, there's sacrifice, there's suffering, and there's hard work. Remember I told you at 18 years old, I said, think about everything that you've ever had happen to you in your life. Everything. Uh, what did they say? I remember I was in seventh grade and this, I went to the lake with some buddies and each one of the kids had to chip in $20 um, to, to go to this lake house where this mom, everybody chipped in $20 for the kids. You got to hear this because this is, this is something that fucking pisses me off. And, this is, and you need to think about what pisses you off. But, but I didn't have the money to go. But my buddy's like, dude, you know how my mom is. Like, if you go to the lake with us for a week and you don't have 20 bucks, dude, like, she's going to fucking trip. And she was a bitch. She hated me anyways, you know, because I was a poor kid and they, and they had money. And uh, I said, uh, I said, yeah, I got 20 bucks, dude. My dad gave me 20 bucks. It's a total lie. We drive two hours, we get down to this lake house. I want to hang out with the girls for the week in seventh grade with all my buddies. We all walk in the house, all the kids start handing the mom $20. And then it was, came to me. And she's like, Andy, where's your 20 bucks? What a fucking cut, dude. And I was like, uh, it, I left it in the truck. She's like, go get it. I'm like, this fucking lady. I'm fucking seventh grade, guys. I'm 12 years old. This is a parent being a complete asshole to me. 
And I said, okay, I go out to the truck. I said, it must have blown out. I, her name was Sharon. I was like, Sharon, it must have blown out. She goes, you're a liar. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, you're a liar. You don't have any money. And I said, I don't. I don't have any money. I asked my dad to come down here, and my dad said he doesn't even have a dollar to let me borrow, but I really want to hang out with my friends for the week. And she goes, you're not sleeping in our house. You can sleep on the porch. Swear to God on my life. One week we stayed at the lake. I slept on their porch. I'm good. I hung out with my friends all day long. She didn't feed me one time. The whole, by, by, this isn't a victim story. I want you to understand how unfair life is. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And how you make a decision to either get your kicked in or you go be a bad example to everyone else. I remember those nights I slept on that porch. I knew one day that I was gonna find my way out. I knew one day I was. I didn't know what it was, but I knew one day I would find my way out. And I said, when I did, I'm not gonna be a fucking asshole. I'm gonna take care of people. I'm gonna be good to people. I'm gonna wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm gonna fucking change people's lives. One day, I don't know how, but one day I'm gonna do it. And dude, I want to tell you something. That whole week, she went out and fed those old my friends sandwiches and shit, right in front of my face. Okay. At the end of the week, you know what she told me? She goes, "I hope you learn your lesson." I did. It was the greatest lesson I ever learned. Okay. There's a lot of heartless people in this world, and I'm not going to be one of them. No matter how fucking shitty she was to me, she wasn't going to turn me into a piece of shit. You know what her goal was that day? And I realized that at a very young age, she wanted to turn me into a miserable fucking person and hate everybody like she did. Not a fucking chance. You know what I did? I learned sales, I learned leadership. By the time I was 21, 22 years old, I was making 800 grand a year selling cars, and the rest was history. I got out of the car business. I'm 44 years old now. I've got a badass company. Um, we, we, run a hun we run nine figures plus, 100 million plus every, month, every year. I'm growing like a motherfucker and I wanna tell you guys something. I wanna tell you a code that I live by. I am the example and from this day forward, everybody write this down, from today forward, from today forward, I'm going to live in human excellence. Listen to me, I know you're f***ed up, I know you got problems, I know you're broken, you're the most dangerous motherfucker in the room. If you've been rejected, if you've been over, if you've been burned, if you've burned people, I want you guys to look at Jake right now and I want you to realize there's something with Jake that you guys need to give. And I don't care what you did yesterday. I don't care what the f has happened and it's called loyalty. It is the superpower of life. You make a commitment to give Jake loyalty. You make a commitment to say, Jake, I don't want to just be with you when good I want to be with you when it's bad too you know one of my favorite things to look forward to with my team is when they're going through a hard time because when shit's good it's easy to be with people when shit's hard only the real mother stick around I want you guys to make a commitment to build a new culture you may say Andy our culture is good no mother you're at one percent guys and you know what I want you to do right now I want you to just imagine Shouldn't, shouldn't you guys know what it feels like? Don't you deserve to know what it feels like if you get your ass, ass in the gym at 5 a.m.? Listen to me. You grind in the dark, you put your phone down, self-mastery, you work on yourself every morning for an hour and a half. The way that you feel when you leave the gym is euphoric. You're in the best mood in the history of the world better than anyone else for the next 12 to 15 hours. Everybody that you run into, you're infectious. They can't believe you operate the way you do. It's because you put you first before the day started. And most people, they start their day and the first person they run into, how that person operates is how their day goes. I set the tone for my day. Nobody's gonna fuck with my day, you can't. You can't fuck with me. I've got the blueprint. I do the 
connecting with people. And every one of you right now, you can make a decision. How does your day start? What are you going to think all day long? By the way, what you think about is what the f*** happens. I know people that got anxiety, they got worries, they got issues. That's why they have anxiety lives, worries, and issue lives. I think a manifest about great sh awesome stuff. Every time I walk by somebody, I'm like, dude, I just changed that mother life. The way that I carry myself, the way that I talk, the energy that I operate with, the way that my eyes are. There's loose eyes in this room. Eyes that literally, if you've broken eye contact with me at one time during this call, you're f weaker than you think you are. Your mind is roaming. You can allow no, dis no undiscipline in your life, especially if Jake told me the truth. He goes, Andy, my team is ready for new levels. Is that right? Yes or no? Can you guys, is that right? Did he tell me the truth? Is that what you guys want? Yeah. 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 All right. So here's the rules. Number one, we're going in the fire. Everybody write this down. We're going into the fire right now. Oh. Do not pull yourself out. I want to tell you what cowards do. They pull themselves out of the fire too early. Gold and silver is refined in fire and it burns the blemishes off it to make it perfect. But if you pull the gold and silver out of the fire too early, it ruins it. And some of you, the reason why we can't help you grow and get to new levels is because you keep going to alcohol, to drinking, to drugs, to f toxic people. You complain. Everybody write down, master your mouth. Rule number one about being in the fire is everything is a solution driven that you're talking about. There's no problems. You can identify a problem as long as immediately it is followed by communication for solution. If you come to me and you're like, Andy, there's this problem, there's this guy, I'm like, fuck, dude, stop. Are you getting to a solution? Because if you are, get there. If you're wanting me to help you, let me talk. But don't talk about this problem for too long. Let's speak on how to fix it. Complaining is very ineffective. It's inefficient. And by the way, nobody cares anyways. That's why you don't complain. Two rules to business. Rule number one, don't ever let anybody know your business better than you. No one. No one. When I was in automotive and I was a kid, and I keep going back to when I'm a kid because you guys are younger, I studied an hour to an hour and a half every morning on anything that I can learn about automotive. Why? Because I wanted to know what to talk about. You know what I learned? That is as important as that was, the way that I could communicate, talk, speak, work with clients. I learned product knowledge was important, but people knowledge was most important. I learned the way that I could connect with people. Everybody write this down. Stand out. Be different. Be unique. Make connections others can't. You guys are all artists. And you got a canvas sitting in front of you. Okay? Your body is a canvas. The guy in the black hat. Okay? There's one on the right side of the room, one on the left. He's holding the paper in his hand. What's your name? Chris. Chris, how old are you? 27. Chris, were you an athlete in school? Yes. What'd you play? Lacrosse. Were you in better shape than you are now? Absolutely. Okay, stand up. Take your shirt off. I want you to do it in front of your friends. Come on. It's no big deal. But I want you to do this because you know what? L look, do me a favor. I, no, no, no. Hold on. This isn't about making fun of him. I want you to understand something because I can make all you f take your shirts off. And maybe one or two of you look halfway decent. Chris, I want you to grab some of your fat. Just grab it. I want you to understand that is all the little undisciplined decisions you've made that is all the fucking people that you hang out with that no longer need to be in your life that is all the times that you let someone else influence your fucking ass and not the true you you're 27 you're an example for everybody i want you to make a commitment today that from this point forward and 
four months from now, you're gonna have a six pack in that office. You're gonna become the most savage mother that ever lived. You're gonna be smarter here. Your mental, oh, your, your mental health is gonna be through the roof and you're never gonna look like that again, ever. You know why? Because when you get dressed in the morning, I don't need to even ask you, but I know you look in the mirror and you're like, this guy, this guy, this is not me. This is not me. But someone else has taken over your body and it's society and you're conforming and you're exa you're doing exactly what they want you to do. Bro, you think they want you shredded? You think they want you ripped? You think they want you being a winner? No, dude, they want you to be a loser. Okay? And nobody's telling you the truth anymore because the truth is dark, the truth sucks, and the truth hurts people. But only until you get the truth will you become who you're supposed to be. That is not who you are. From now on, every day, every time you go to eat something, I want you to do this. Reach over and grab your fat and be like, this. This. This is not what I am fucking after. This is not what I stand for. I should be a fucking cyborg. I should be a Greek god. Why? 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 Why should I look like this? Is this going to make me more money eating like shit? Do you put fucking the cheapest gas in a Ferrari? No, dude. You put the best fucking fuel in a Ferrari. From now on, you guys want a Ferrari life? You guys put Ferrari fuel in you. Everything you do, you operate like the Ferrari, not like a Ford Taurus. And by the way, listen to me. Every one of you right now, and you can put your shirt back on now, but you know what I want you to do? I want you to remember all of you. Every, every couple weeks, I would recommend getting together. And you guys all get together and take your shirts off together, and I want you to look at, look at each other. I want you to see just how sharp you guys are on the inside. Really, how how, how sharp's your discipline blade? I call, it, I call it my discipline blade. How sharp is it? Okay. I want to tell you guys something. Everybody, everybody told me when I started my sales training company, and I just want to tell you guys for a minute. Uh, I, I, I wanted to do workouts uh, because fitness changed my life. By the way, you want to know why I would have him take his shirt off? Because I looked at myself in the mirror and I'd got fat at, some, at one point in my life. I was just like him. And I didn't even know because I wasn't aware. And my wife came over and she grabbed my fucking back fat one morning. I was getting dressed. And she goes, uh, you're getting comfortable. I'm like, I'm like, what'd you say? Like, and this is my wife. And she goes, I want you to know my job is to make you the greatest man that ever lived. And you're not doing that. And I want you to know that my job is to tell you the fucking truth, okay? And guess what? You, you're not fucking living by the truth. At that point, at that point, I made a decision to throw my ego in the trash can. And by the way, you don't have to be with somebody. You can do this to yourself, because she was exactly right. I was an athlete in school. I always played sports. I'd gotten sloppy. My discipline edge was weak. I let buddies, listen, listen. <laughs> I, I let buddies that I was trying to impress who are not in my life now. Think about this. Somebody that once you tried to impress to show that you were cool that's not in your life right now. That weren't going to be in my life long term, especially when I decided to level up. Influenced me to go out and get trash, drink, have fun. You know what's funner than fun? Winning. You guys want to have more fun than you ever had in your whole life? I want you guys to make a decision. Right now, it's 1-18-24. It means it's January 18th of 2024. I challenge all of you. This is a challenge. Let's see if you're man enough to take it. Until May 1st, no alcohol. No drugs. No toxicness. Master your mouth. Do not let anything negative come out of your mouth, no matter what. No complaining. Cut off all bad relationships this very moment. They're gone. Bye. Go through a season of saying no. Hey man, you want to go to lunch? No, I don't. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I'm good. 
Yeah, man, but look, let's go have fun, bro. I'm in a season right now of grind. Let them be aware. I'm going through a season. Okay, let's go to the club this weekend. Jake's having a big party. It's going to be bad. Fuck it. I'll pass. Stay home and read. Self-educate. Self-develop. I'm going to tell you how this works. Your mind has 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts going through today. This is facts. This isn't Andy Elliottisms. 60 to 70,000 thoughts going through today. Until you pattern interrupt those new thoughts with new shit, it won't change. You won't think different. You won't speak different. Aaron, come here, buddy. Come here. Thomas, come here. I want to show you guys something just for a second. I'm because I want to show you guys. You see this big motherfucker? You see these guys? These guys look like they work out, stay in shape and shit. These are just some of the guys that I roll with. This is my team, okay? You were a drug addict, right? 16 years. 16 years. Okay, what I tell you? No more drugs. No more drinking. How much did you weigh when we met? 160. 160 pounds. What do you weigh now? 200. 200. 40 pounds of muscle. Okay? Think he looks better? Yeah. Think he's killing it? Yeah. You think he, he, he is becoming who he's supposed to become? Yes. Okay? Aaron, seventh grade, right? Seventh grade. Seventh grade, overdosed on what? Coke? Cocaine and speed. Cocaine and speed. Notice I run with the underdogs. Okay, guess what happened? Aaron, you graduated, you're 160 pounds, right? Yep. What, what does he weigh now? 235, highest weight was 270. Fucking shit, dog. Come on. Thank you, guys. I wanted to show you guys an example of what army are we building? By the way, everybody please understand this. We need to make a decision right now together. Is this your life or is this a job? It's life. Anyone in the room, is this just a job to you? I know that there's someone that kind of is like, yeah, it's kind of a job. Bye. Get out, go away. Let me tell you, Jake, there's 10 million people, my bad, there's 9 billion people in this world. You can find your people. These are my people. I know. But I want you to know if someone's not with you, you'll find the ones that will be. I wanted to tell that to everybody. So if anybody in the room is like, dude, this is what I want. Guys, am I speaking your language, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys ready to draw a line in the sand and say goodbye to your old life? And you're going to have to give up your old life to have a new one. Does that make sense? Yes. What if we finish this meeting and then someone goes, come on, bro, we can have a drink. That motherfucker, we made a commitment till May 1 and they're already trying to fucking break it. Bye, motherfucker. But he's the best at marketing. Suck my dick. See ya. <laughs> okay? I don't give a fuck because I want to tell you guys when you, okay, everybody write down us, U.S., us. Us. You guys must define us. What is us? Here's what I need. I need core values, not from the old you, from the new you. I need you guys to get together tonight or right after this meeting. And I need you to not call and tell me, don't, don't call your shots like this is who we want to be. Call who you will be together. And I don't care about last night. If you went and got drunk last night, you did drugs last night, you didn't wake up and go to the gym, you burned somebody yesterday, you were a piece of shit, I'm cool with that. But what are we going to do from this point forward? Who do you want to be? Who are you committing to be? How are you going to operate? Where is your heart? You must define these core values. By the way, write this down. Core values and standards are things you'll die for. If you won't die for it, it's not a real core value. In my company, I have these TVs everywhere. I have a 70,000 square foot facility. I have a big ass gym in the middle of it. We all work out together every day together. We grind. We don't even talk when we work out. We just grind around each other. On the TVs, it, has, it says Elliot Army 3.0. You guys, by the way, you guys no longer are a team. You're a an army. Period. Okay, and you're gonna call it as an army. And I would highly recommend, I don't know what your shirts look like, but look, look at all my shirts, Elliot Army. 
Very fucking clear. My whole team wears them. Everyone on my team, it says Elliot Army. We don't have a company, we have an army. And our army will fuck up anybody. You know what I learned? An individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. It means I don't give a fuck how badass Jake is, Tony is, Sam is. I don't give a fuck. How strong's the team? I want to tell you guys something. You guys, a lot of times in your life, you'll work for a paycheck. You'll work for a pay plan. You'll work for a contract. But most of you guys will never work for a team. You'll never have a team. A real team, no one is greater than anyone, no one is better than anyone on the team. If I own the company and Chris doesn't, I'm not better than Chris. Chris should hold me to the standard, the core values that we set, and I should hold him to the core values and the standards that we set. Is Chris allowed to call me out if I break a core value? Absolutely. See, when you get to this level, number one, let's talk about money for a minute. More than you ever imagined. Number two, communicate. Everybody write this down, cold hard truth. Okay, the guy that I had take a shirt off, what was his name, Chris? Chris. Chris, is that right? Yes, sir. Somebody send me a picture of Chris. When we're done with the shirt off. Chris, I will tell you this. By May 1st, you're gonna have a six pack. I know you will. Because you don't lose, am I right, Chris? Yes, sir. Three, three miles of cardio a day, 30 minutes a day, 45 minutes a day, eating clean food, working out five days a week, you'll be there. That's it. Your body's dying for it. By the way, listen to me. Your mind is dying for it. When I work out and I take care of myself, my mental clarity is so on point. I'm so sharp. As I'm talking to some of you right now, I want you to think about the way that I've spoke to you. Do, I, do you think that I believe in me? Do you guys think I believe in me? Yes. Okay, cool. Do you think I believe in you? Yes. yes. Have I degraded anybody? No. no. But I have told you the truth, right? Yes. Yep. I've communicated to you what a side of life that you probably not experience looks like and that you can have it by making a simple decision right now. No matter who you're around, from now on, this is the way we live. No matter who you're around. Okay, I got my wife right here. I don't give a fuck. She knows this is a standard. There's no act. There's no pretend. It's who we become. Today, on this call, at this moment, the day you're born, the day you die, the day your life changes forever. I w look, I was sitting at an, an event when I was younger. And I walked into a room, and this is how I know people can change that fast. And I heard somebody speak. And they told me the things that I already knew in a way that I hadn't heard before. And for some reason, I always say mar marketing is the right message to the right person at the right time. Some of you have been waiting for your opportunity to get your life financially right. And I mean like really right. Not like just go out and spend the money you make. But like if you were to get sick today, you would have five years of money to live off of. If you decided you wanted to go and buy five Ferraris, a $10 million house, and whatever the fuck else you wanted, you could do it. And by the way, I don't care how your pay plan in your company is. I hear people say, well, we don't get paid that way. Shut the fuck up, man. Increase your value, dude. When you increase your value, more money opportunities open up for you in that company. Am I correct, Jake? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Jake, if someone can figure out how to bring more dough to the table, can they make more money? 100%. So it's very simple. Increase your value, that's how you increase your money. And a lot of people want more money and they never increase their value. By the way, I this conversation, this conversation that I'm having for you guys is not for the 99%. It is not for the 1%. It is for the 0.0001%. And I asked Jake for permission. I said, Jake, can I have permission to be direct with your team? He said, F yeah. I said, cool, Jake, is your team ready to change? I said, by the way, I want you to be honest with me. Don't and just tell me like, yeah, my guys are ready. No, I'm like, are they really ready? He goes, Andy, I have the greatest team ever. I have the greatest team ever. I have that army. We all need to go in the same direction at one time. We all need to start at the starting line together. All of us in our company all have our own problems. We all have our own insecurities. We all have our own vices, strongholds, and weaknesses. 
He goes, Andy, I want to expose these motherfuckers together. I want to expose them. I want us to be able to tell each other the truth and not walk around on eggshells in front of each other. I want us to literally build the army that I know that we are capable of. He goes, I love my guys. Okay, and everybody needs a coach. I need a coach. You guys need a coach. We all need coaches. We need people to remind us who we are and remind us where we can go. And he's like, I will pay you to coach me and my team together at one time. So that at one strike, we can start moving forward from this point forward. With a new identity. Everybody, a new identity is so f***ing important. If you get off this call and you have the same identity as you had before this call, you are not right for this company. You're f***ing a loser. You heard the greatest f***ing information in the world. By the way, the only way that people change, Jake, three, three things. New information. New people, new experiences. Okay, so everybody look around. From this point forward, every fucking day you come into that office, you will be a new motherfucking person. You will have leveled up bigger from the day before. Welcome to meet and your new fucking people. Every one of you. You will no longer walk in the office and be like, oh, what's up, Frank? What's going on, bro? What are we doing? No, fuck that. You're going to bring fucking heat to Frank. Frank, when he sees you the next day, he's going to be like, man, motherfucker. You did it again, dog. And again, man. Your eyes are fucking focused, bro. Your, 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 your energy is on point. You're fucking delivering. By the way, everybody, write this down. The, what separates people is the way they deliver information. I, I know a lot of people that are, are way better than me at a lot of things, but they can't deliver information better than me. And by the way, I want to give you a dangerous edge. Everything on this call today is about you creating an edge over your competition and everyone else. The edge is the most important thing. So everybody write this down. Rob Bailey. I'm just going to give you an example. There's this music that I listen to every day and it's by a guy called, named Rob Bailey. And every day that I listen to Rob Bailey, it fires me. Uh, what'd you say, Andy? Rob Bailey? Rob Bailey. B-A-I-L-E-Y. It's called Rob Bailey and the hustle standard. Rob Bailey and the hustle standard. It's music. Go to Apple Music. You can listen to it. Go in the gym and listen to it today. You want to punch someone in the fucking face. Okay? But, but listen, I listen to Rob Bailey all the time, but my wife, I'm like always working, we're doing shit, and then I'm always cranking this Rob Bailey music, right? And she goes, uh, Andy, <laughs> does it always got to be fucking so intense? And I said, yeah, yeah, it does. I said, babe, I was once dead and now I'm alive. I'm not losing my fucking edge. I'm not even going to risk it. So I travel. The, I, listen, I will give you guys some stuff. By the way, you know what a psycho competitor is? I'm going to give you guys the level. Everybody write down new levels. New levels. You want a new life? You got to go to new levels. Every one of you? Okay. Here, let me give you an example of new levels. I travel every week all over the country. When I go somewhere, I have my food shipped to the place I'm going. Bison and rice. It's my favorite meal. It's what I f***ing eat. I, by the way, I don't even taste it. It's fuel. I just f***ing eat it. <laughs> Bison and rice. I'm f***ing shredded. It, it, listen, I eat the food. I work out. My body does this. Does that, does that make sense? Yep. It's, like, it's like, guys, remember I said self-mastery learn you? Bison and rice. So, so when I go travel, eating on the road is very hard because you don't ever know where you're going to be. So a lot of people are like, oh man, Andy, you know, I'm in business. I travel. That's why I'm out of shape because, you know, I need to get a routine. Motherfucker, I am the routine, bitch. I go to a fucking hotel. I have my company ship my meal prep to that hotel. I bring two meal preps with me that's sitting at the hotel. I'll literally show up to dinner. Jake, let's say I'm eating with your team and I'm eating my meal prep. And every, by the way, well, I cheat twice a week. I'll eat whatever I want. But these other meals, I know my body at 44, if I want to stay fucking 6 to 8% body fat, I have to eat clean food. I have to. By the way, guys, can I tell you something? My family is 300 to 500 pounds. Just so everybody knows. Okay, my family, I'm the only wealthy person in my family. Okay, so some of you right now, 
If you're wanting to break generational curses, if you're wanting to fucking break the bloodline, I don't give a fuck what they did. You have got to change. And that's what I did. I'm fucking ripped and shredded. My fucking sisters are on their second stomach surgery. I'm not fucking being like them. Okay? I love them. Thank you for being my sister, but I am not like them. I'm an heir of God. I don't know if you believe in God, but I am his son. You fucking kidding me? I've got his DNA? Come against me, motherfucker. I will fucking kill you. I will destroy you. I can break any stronghold in my life. Any of them. Okay? Broke? My family's never made more than 50 grand in a fucking year. I make 50 grand an hour minimum. And you guys, you guys can decide whatever you want. By the way, I want you to understand the greatest fucking advice I'll ever give you, along with all the other advice, is that people think that they need to go get new jobs to make more money. They're so fucking stupid. You need to do the job that you have now differently. That's it. That, that is the key. Dude, there's entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs. Okay, an entrepreneur takes on all the risk, all the money, gets sued, has all the problems. The entrepreneur job is to blow the entrepreneur's business up and keep the edge. You must stay sharp as shit. That's what I want. That's the good life. The entrepreneur and the entrepreneur must do what they do differently. You must be more creative. You're an artist. Remember the canvas? Okay, Chris, that's your body. You want fucking more shoulders? You do more shoulder fucking presses. It's very easy. You want a bigger chest? You do more reps on your chest. But people pull out of the fire too soon. Can we make a commitment as a company together that starting right now, right now until May 1st, that's February, March, April, that's three and a half months, no alcohol, no drugs. Can we do that? Yeah. yeah. Everybody together? Okay. Five days a week we go to the gym. Five days a week. Some of us are at the gym now and some aren't. That's the problem. No, 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 no. We're doing it as a company. Can everybody commit to going to the gym five days a week? Yes or no? 100%. Yeah. Guys, until May 1st, listen to me. You're going to test my theory. And by May 1st, you decide if the person you've become, if who you are, you decide you want to keep living to that life. Now it can either be another challenge or no longer it's a challenge. It's the way you operate. You see, I want to give you common sense. When you learn in self-awareness that your body feels better when you do this, why would you do anything else? Why would you change anything? Like that would be stupid. So guys, listen, the key is nothing can change until you change. Nothing. That's the secret. Who wants more results? In any area of life you want more results in, you have to change. The person, the people that I'm looking at on this call right now cannot get to the next level. Only the new you can get to the next level. Only the new you. It's going to take decisions. Everybody write this down, decisions. I want to give you the definition of a decision. The decisions you made yesterday shape the life you have today. And the decisions you make today will shape the life you have tomorrow. It's that simple. If you want a new life, you either sacrifice for what you want or for what you want becomes the sacrifice. If you guys want to be worth millions, if you guys want to walk into a room and pe have people be like, who the fuck is that? Because it's not that you're famous. They fucking can see it in your eyes. They're like, who the fuck is that? Why are they so fucking happy? Why do they look like they're a fucking killer? Why do they look like they have something that I don't without me even knowing what they have? It's because you're the 0.0001%. And I want to tell you this. That makes you the alpha leader. You guys can all be alpha leaders together. My company are all alphas. People always say, how do you, how do you manage to have more than one alpha in a company? I'm like, how do you manage to have a company where everybody's not alphas? 
fuck are you talking about? Weak fuck. I don't want to be around pussies. I don't want to walk into the office and I'm the best. I want to walk into the office and I want to make everyone else better than me. Every single one of you. Let's create new addictions. Your new addiction is going to be the gym. Your new addiction is going to be eating clean. Everybody write this down. Carnivore diet. I don't care about how much you know about food. I want to give you an example. Fish, chicken, turkey, steak, bison. Eat it three times a day. Put your carbs around your workout. You want rice? You want, you want a potato? Put it around your workout. Don't eat after 7 o'clock at night. Listen to me. Maybe 8. Don't eat after 7 or 8. You're like, fuck bro, I'm starving at night. I know how you guys are. You're animals. Listen, sparkling water. Here's a, tr here's a trick. Put sparkling water in your fucking refrigerators. Load it up. At night, when you're freaking the fuck out, drink sparkling water. It'll, it'll kill your crave. If you still want to treat and you guys want to tr cheat, by the way, Chris, when we're done, I'm going to send over, are me and Jake in a text? Okay, yeah. Jake, text me when we're done. I'm going to send you a PDF. It's, it's just a, a calendar I want you to print off. And it says Extreme 100. Okay? And a, and a, and a, He's coming to the gym with me at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. And by the way, Jake, I want you to understand this, please. Everybody doesn't have to go to the gym at the same time. They, they don't have to. Everyone they, gets to the office at 8, 8.30 in the morning. Everyone needs to be at the gym between 6 and 7 o'clock. Okay, so we're going to make a rule at that gym. Jake, no technology. Listen, headphones, music, do not disturb. I have a trainer. We can all work out with him. I've offered it to him in the past. He's a Russian fucking bodybuilder. But, the guy's a stud. But whether they choose to do that or not, it doesn't matter. Let's just, let's call this. By the way, because in the gym... Some people may want to do cardio. They may want to follow different programs. They may want to do different stuff. So all we care about is that they dedicate five times a week, 4% of their day, which is one hour, to go in and turn technology off. Put your music on. Listen to Rob Bailey. Literally, put your phone on Do Not Disturb. Do not look at a text message. Do not look at an email. Do not have your notifications on. Do not talk to anyone. Go fucking dark. Get your mental health right. Work on you. Listen to me, guys. If you don't work on you, you'll never become who you want to become. All of you guys spend your time all day long helping other people. All you guys spend all your time other, every day being leaders for others and taking care of work. But if you don't spend that hour on you, you're not going to become who you need to become. And I will tell you from personal experience, it can't happen because I tried it every other way. You have to go in the gym. You have to suffer. You have to sacrifice. You have to be aware of you. I want you guys to look in the mirror and be proud of who you are. No more numbing pain. If you're like, man, I've had a hard day. Good. Let it and soak in the next morning you're by the way you want to have a beer go to the fucking gym swear to god when you when you can say no to shit that's not good for you you've become the most dangerous mother in the room when you sit when you can say no to things that you once did in the life that wasn't your dream life then you will get your dream life remember what i said sacrifice for sacrifice. what you want Sac want. Sacrifice for what you want or what you want becomes the sacrifice. I will tell you guys this. You will be misunderstood. You need to know this right now. You will be laughed at. You will be misunderstood. People will fucking hate you. But one day, if you guys do what I told you on this call, and you guys take this to heart, you realize that today I just poured my heart out to you guys and I gave you my secret to my life. And you will take ownership of this right now. And you alter your identity. And you, and you recreate on the spot. You reinvent yourself every day moving forward. And you become a high level of human excellence. No matter where you've came from. I will tell you that one day. Soon. 
everyone will want to know how you did it. And you'll be so proud of yourself. And that is what your army is about. And that's what your team is about. And so I just want to say, guys, listen to me. I'm going to send you the recording of this call. I want you guys to study it. I want you to watch it on your own. I want you to know that self-development is the secret to winning. But I gave you guys a lot on this call. I put a fire hose up to your mouth and I literally gave you so many different ways that you can change everything in your life. And all you have to do is make a decision and say, is what that man just told us the truth? And if it is, then it's time to go dark. I believe in you. You guys need to be the greatest students I've ever had. You need to be the greatest testimony to fucking what winning can look like. You need to be the example. And by the way, don't, don't complain when you're, you're changing your life. Save it. So that way one day when you tell your story, you can tell everybody about how far you came. And they're all going to want to know. But you can't tell your story too soon. I want you to become the fucking cyborg you're supposed to become. And then you tell the story. And they're like, no way, man. You used to do drugs. You used to party. You used to be weak-minded too. You used to be lazy. You used to not go to the gym. What? You fucking were like that? You're like, bro. One day I was on this call. Jake had this fucking crazy guy come on. He fucking told us some shit. Most people wouldn't want to have anything to do with it because it requires suffering and sacrifice. But it was what we were fucking dying for. We all made a decision that day in the company until May 1st to fucking live this by this new standard. You don't always get your goals, but you'll always get your standards. We chased a new fucking standard. And that day, we all changed. By the way, not only will you guys benefit from this, but so will your children, your future children, your wife, your future bloodline, this is it. If you don't step up, then who else is? Have a blessed day. See you soon. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Let's go. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.